guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another episode of Fossil Friday. So I did what I did last week and I have left the filming a little bit late in the day, but it's okay, I still have light, just about, but just keep that in mind if progressively as we get through this video it gets a little bit darker. So I'm looking forward to the summer months where I can prep throughout the day and not just until four o'clock. But anyway, it should be fine. I think we've got about half an hour to play with, so fingers crossed. Anyway, I hope you're all doing well. Um, last week, for some of you who watched it, you probably realised I said that I had just finished all my assignments for my first term of my masters, and uh, this week I got my results back. So for those of you who are interested, everything went well, so I am continuing to my next term. Not that I was worried about that, but just if you were wondering. Um, but today's video I'm going to show you guys, it's going to be a bit of a show and tell and then some advice as well, like as in I need some of your guys advice. Yeah, we'll get to it. Anyway, so I've got some bits and bobs that I've recently purchased and I just think you guys will appreciate them too. So my favourite thing is I've got myself a new watch. Now, can we just appreciate how amazing this is? It is a watch and the watch face is made up of ammonites. Like, how beautiful is that? So I have never seen anything like this, and uh, this came available a few weeks ago, or probably about a month ago, I should say, and I didn't even know, the, the brand Fossil, like, obviously I knew it was called Fossil, and I always liked that, but I never knew that they actually did Fossil-related items, and, oh my god, I just couldn't believe it when I found this. It was just, it's meant to be. It's just meant to be. So, this is my new favourite thing ever. Like, I just... I cannot wait to wear this all the time. And it's actually a really nice watch. Like, for a lady's wrist, I thought this was... I actually thought it was going to be really chunky because it's literally got, like, ammonites. It's a like a fossil ammonite face. Like, I thought it was going to be really chunky, but when it arrived, it's just even more perfect than I was expecting. So I just had to share that with you guys. None of this is sponsored, by the way. I just purchased way too much fossil-themed stuff. But then the next thing I got, I found myself a dinosaur mask. Wait, look at that. So for those of you who like this, this is a kid's mask, by the way, but luckily I am kid's size, so it fits my face. But um, they're in WH Smith at the moment, and it's buy one, get one free for like three pounds. So if you've got one near you, and it's, you know, near your essential shopping, or you're popping in, you might actually be able to get them online, maybe. But uh, my friend was going in anyway, and she spotted them, and so she just had to get them for me. So I was so happy to receive these. I love them. And then, oh, and then the almighty purchase. So this was my Christmas present from me to me, so was everything else, but you know, this one was the actual Christmas present. But like, just, oh. Don't know if you guys are ready. So this is handmade Italian handbag, and uh, whew, it's uh, based off of, well they say, it's based on an armadillo design. So they've, you know, based it off the armadillo shell. Now, I don't know about you, but I think this resembles something else. Like, I don't know if anything comes to mind, but I can think of something. You know, something chambered that I'm very fond of. But look at the colour as well. So it's Italian leather, and I, when I say I am in love, like, if this bag was meant for anyone, like, it's, it's just, it's meant to be. It's just meant to be. So I just had to share. Like, I know you guys are here for fossils, but this is fossil-themed stuff, so I thought you might want to see it. Anyway. I'll put this neatly away and then we can move on to the actual purpose of Fossil Friday today. So I was thinking, apart from the show and tell I just did, I want to start prepping some of my like biggest fossil finds. So I have found some pretty big ammonites in my time, but I've never, I've been like too scared to fully prep them because they're kind of like one of a kind finds and they were so much effort to get off the beach and I just don't want to ruin them basically. And most of the time, like I've got one here to show you guys first, it's the centers that I need to kind of like pop off and I don't know what to use for it and I don't have air tools and I probably won't get them until I finish this masters so that's another like year and a half or so but I was thinking can I use like a Dremel the there's a new Dremel out I think it's like uh, on Paleozoic, Paleozoic Tech or Tools uh, is the site I get all my Paraloid from, and uh, they're currently selling a Dremel 290, I think it's called, and I was thinking of getting that, and I'm hoping I can prep these um, ammonites I've got here with it, so I want to prep this one, and then my Mega Lytoceros as well, so I'm going to take you guys now to like look at them and see what you think, because I could take my nail and a hammer to it, it would take a while, but I don't want to then make it impossible to clean up the little bits. So I'm thinking maybe a Dremel will just give me that little bit more power behind it. I don't know. I'm intrigued. 
but um this one is so heavy to move but I'll move it just because this one's not as bad as the Megalitosaurus but you can see it here so it's not a whole piece but it's a really nice piece like the ribbing is really like strong on it and it's just got this chunk here hiding the middle and I actually think you can see the middle under it so we're missing some of the whorls here but I think the center is actually under this so I think by flicking this off it'll look really nice and it's almost like a rainbow so you've got like all the half I don't know I love it and when I say it's heavy like this was such a chunk to get off the beach I'll link down below the video of me finding it if you want to watch the vlog <sighs> but it, it weighs a ton right let's flip you over so you can have a look so we are slowly running out of light but this is the piece up close so you can see it's absolutely beautiful and the detail of the ribbing is just stunning and even though it's not complete it's still just perfect in its own right and I think underneath this chunk here it will reveal quite a lot of detail because looking at the whirl here I think we might even have part of the center but you never know until you flick it off so I just wanted to get your guys opinion on what you would do to this piece because I know quite a lot of you have a lot of experience um, I'm thinking I'm going to get the Dremel 290 to help me clean up like in between the ribs here and the whirls you can see there's quite a lot of build up there but I think I can get that out all right this piece here I don't know whether to like chip off with a chisel um, I just didn't want to touch it until I got a little bit of advice but one way or another I will get this piece completed and I think it'll make a lovely doorstop because it almost looks like a rainbow like with all the whirls it's just such a stunning piece and it was such a chunk to get off the beach like you can see the weight of it there but I'll try I think I filmed when I fossil hunted this day so I'll link it down below in case you haven't seen it and would like to but um yeah let me know if you have any advice on this piece I'd be very happy to hear it before I commit to it because it's one of those pieces where I really want it to work but I know that's the joys of fossil hunting that they can fail sometimes but I feel like this one is it's a strong piece so I don't think I can hurt it too much famous last words let's just touch this wood so this is the next piece I want some advice on now this one is a little bit hidden away and it is a bit dark but basically it's this megalitosaurus here so it is humongous and I love keeping this little litosaurus next to it because it's just cute the size difference anyway irrelevant you can see here that the center is filled and I know with megalitosauruses they can sometimes not be um, all there like the center can sometimes have like it can literally be a hole but I do want to clean it up a little bit and then I want to try and make a custom stand for this one so I want to out of concrete and like metal I'm going to try and make like a really sturdy stand for it so I can actually like stand it up in in my house but I'm not sure how to do that either but I've seen them in the Natural History Museum somewhere they are getting custom stands made so I know there's someone out there who can do it so I've just got to go on the hunt but that's uh, another project first project is to clean up the center now this is not the best view for you guys I don't think I'm even gonna be able to move it but only a little bit this one is so heavy I still don't know how I gathered the superhuman strength to get this off the beach because it was literally a boulder beach like this is one of my finds that I used in my dissertation for my undergrad so it's quite a special find for me but yeah you can kind of see the center there so it kind of curls round to here and then this is all just matrix so I want to just clean it up a little bit to see what we've got underneath it might be that there is no center um, but I can make it look a bit nicer nonetheless so yeah they're my two projects that I want to get done before I fly to Portugal but if you guys are following the news I don't even know if, you, if I'll be able to fly to Portugal with everything going on but anyway I'm going to flip the camera around so we can chat face to face <laughs> so yeah they're the two that I want to finish before I go to Portugal but my plans to go to Portugal are looking a little bit up in the air at the moment because obviously they've just got the new variant of Covid and the borders are shut so I don't actually know if there's many travel corridors for me to get to Portugal and I'm meant to start my second term in a well in a, about exactly a month so I'm hoping that it's going to be online for at least the first few weeks or the first few months so I can like have a little bit more time to get all my visa sorted because obviously not European anymore so I need a visa to study in Portugal and I can't travel there so definitely a lot of stresses for my second term but one way or another I will do it but in the meantime I want to try and get the two ammonites I just showed you done so let me know if you think I could clean them up with the dremel or maybe to just stick to my nail and hammer or a little chisel um you know I am very careful when I use my nail so I think I could potentially do it 
but I am going to get a Dremel just to help speed up the process and I think for a lot of my projects over on that table um, a lot of them a Dremel will just make my life a lot easier I think and quicker even though I've heard that you can only use like a Dremel for 10 minutes or something because of the vibrations but we're just gonna wait and see. Anyway, that is today's video. I hope you enjoyed. I know it was a bit all over the place and I was like, look at the stuff I've bought and look at my fossils, but that's just Fossil Friday for today. But look after yourselves. I hope you're all staying safe and are well. Everything is crazy right now. I'm gonna say that in every video because I do seriously mean it. Um, but yeah, just stay home, try and occupy yourself and yeah, just look after yourselves. But I'll link my Instagram down below if you'd like to check that out, along with some other videos of me finding this fossil. I don't have a video of me finding the Megalitoceros, and it's probably just as well, because there is a picture of me carrying it on my Instagram. It doesn't look like me. Like, in order to carry the weight of that fossil, my face, like, swelled, and yeah, I think I pushed my body to the max that day, but we got it home. We got it home. So yeah, it's quite amusing actually. I'll I'll try and uh, I don't. Can you link a single picture down below? Like, can I link to an Instagram picture? If I can, I'll put a link down below if you'd like to check it out because it is it's amusing. I won't lie. But anyway, that is today's video. Look after yourselves. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna quickly insert a little video of one of my plants because I think you guys will enjoy it. It's this like man with grass growing out his head. Um, yeah, I've probably said too much already, so I'll hop to that, but thank you for watching, and hopefully I'll see you next week. It's a little man with grass growing out his head. He might only have four strands of hair, but he can't help that, you know, you can't pick where you are bald, but they are strong strands of hair, you know, they're pretty tall in themselves, but I just had to share because I'm obsessed with him, like, he's so cute, but I am hoping the rest of his grass seedlings will grow at some point, because he is a little bit patchy, but, um, I'll keep you guys updated. <laughs>